every 45 seconds an aircraft takes off or lands at one of Heathrow's two runways. With 72 million passengers flying in and out every year, it's the world's busiest international airport and close to full capacity. And it's not alone, with many airports around the world facing similar capacity challenges. But the number of people flying worldwide is rising rapidly, so keeping airports running smoothly means getting passengers onto large aircraft like the Airbus A380. We absolutely see the A380 as being the solution for the future. Uh, you know, the world really has uh, a major choice. Either massive amounts of more airports have to be built, or with so many airports right now flying at full capacity, um, you know, you've got to put in larger aircraft. You just have to think that in the next 15 years, air traffic is going to double again. By 2040, believe it or not, there'll be twice as many people flying as there are in the world today. So you look at airports like Heathrow and elsewhere, already flying at capacity, and the only solution to make sure everybody can still fly is to fly larger aircraft. Heathrow has understood this. It's already one of the biggest homes worldwide for A380 operators. In fact, 15 super jumbos fly in and out of Heathrow every day, and this is set to rise with new operators. We have more airlines flying A380s into Heathrow than any other airport in the world. That shows not just how important uh, Heathrow is, uh, but how valuable the A380 is for the airlines in connecting uh, key markets around the world, uh, Malaysia, Dubai, uh, British Airways' fleet with London and the strong market that we have here in London. The experience has been shared by other key hubs worldwide. Nearly 40 of the biggest cities worldwide are now connected by the A380. It makes sense, for example, British Airways used to fly three aircraft to Los Angeles every day. Now by using an A380, it only needs two planes a day for that route and can use its third available slot for other routes. Airlines flying from Asia to Europe have faced the same issue. The huge way that Airbus can help out uh, airports that are running very close to maximum capacity, and there are many of those around the world right now, is to encourage airlines to bring in as many A380s as possible, make the most of your runway capacity, make the most of your terminal capacity, and uh, the best way to do that is by flying the biggest and the most comfortable aircraft that there are, that's out there flying today. The A380 also helps airports boost their revenue streams. More passengers means more business and leisure travelers spending money in the restaurants and shops. In return, the airports can upgrade their infrastructure and keep landing fees for airlines lower, who in return can pass on the savings to the flying public with lower ticket prices. With more passengers being able to fly through on some of the larger planes, that means we can make more commercial income, for example, in the shops, where uh, more passengers are spending more money. And that's important to us as a, an airport because it helps to fund the uh, transformation of Heathrow, rebuilding uh, the airport with terminals like this new Terminal 2. Um, and it helps to keep our landing charges down because we are a single till airport and uh, any commercial income we make allows us to reduce landing fees. At the moment, there are close to 40 megacities around the globe. A megacity is defined as one with more than 10,000 long-haul passengers per day and includes cities like Singapore, Nairobi, New York and Hong Kong. Within 30 years, that number will more than double and those residents will, of course, travel between megacities. Airports and airlines understand that in the future, the A380 will be the best way of doing it.